Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm going to read from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 14, beginning at verse 22. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And Jesus said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped Jesus, saying, Of a truth, thou art the Son of God. It's a wonderful passage of scripture about Jesus and his disciples. That was his immediate inner circle of uh, followers. And um, he had sent them on a it says a ship, I think it was probably a fishing boat on the Sea of Galilee to go over to the other side of the lake. And uh, while he, they were going, he was praying. And then this storm comes up and they got scared to death in this storm. The Sea of Galilee is actually a huge lake, it's deep, and there are winds that come in from the surrounding mountains and when they hit the water, uh, they trouble the water, or stir up the water, it'd be like a storm at sea. And this little fishing boat, which had fairly low sides to it, um, would have probably begun to be swamped. The water would be coming into the boat, they'd be bailing the water out of the boat and be frightened. This was also at night and in the dark, so it was pretty scary. In the middle of this whole storm, Jesus comes walking across the water to them so you got to get the idea they didn't have lighting electric lighting on this boat and no lights and uh, they could probably barely see him they might have had an oil lamp or something of that nature but all they could see is this figure coming across the water walking on the water and they were scared they had never seen anything like that before and um, then jesus says don't worry be of good cheer um, he said it is i don't be afraid well Storms come into our life, and one of the questions that I would ask is, uh, why is that happening? Why am I in the middle of a storm? Have I done something wrong that's brought this storm into my life? I'm going to submit to you that there are times when we do things that bring trouble into our life. This was not one of those. Many times when you and I go through troubles in our life, God has a purpose for that trouble, that trial that we're going through. If you sit around on the couch and you never do anything in your life, you're going to get weak. When you have to work or you have to press against an obstacle or you have to carry a heavy load, you end up getting stronger. So what Jesus was doing in this situation was showing them that they could trust him. They could trust God no matter what comes up in their life. And that would increase their faith ultimately because in the end it says that they worshiped him. And so the result of realizing who God is and what he's capable causes us to worship him and to trust him more. The other thing that happens in our life is not all situations come into our life for mistake because God is using it to teach us as well as to strengthen us. And sometimes he's teaching us more about him. A lot of times it's more about God than it is about us. We think everything's about us. It's not. It's about our relationship with him. My friend, you can trust Jesus no matter what trials or struggles come into your life. Ask him, what are you trying to teach me about you, about God? 
and thank you for making me stronger so that I'll know I can endure even trials, even troubles that come into my life because I can trust God. God bless you and have a wonderful day.